Hi gang. <clears throat> That's the cats in the house. Thanks Mark. Got that the other week mate. About two weeks after we spoke. Rest of the gang. Hope you're all doing well. Just going to mess about with uh, this little infill panel around the radiator for the Chev. That's uh, that's a pressure pack paint, that one. That I just um, put a bit on. Oh, the sunshine. Uh, goes in that, that area there. Uh, you can, as you can see, miles apart. Oh, get a good, get a good. Yeah, you can see the nice flake in that, and there's uh, a little of that, but it's two different, two worlds apart. Those, those two colours. So the plan is to see if that paint's still any good that I've got. Uh, it's just been about five years in the tin because I'm going to get onto this very shortly and straighten it out. These two will come out here. So, and there's other parts here that I need to paint on it too. So, for the minute. I'll just uh, I'll just prep this around. Give it a sand bath, put some primer on it, and uh, whack a little bit of paint on him. And I'll put a few put a few coats on it. See how close it comes out to the uh, to the paint that's on the car. And hopefully, I'll be able to just blow in a few uh, areas that need doing. So, and paint that guard, of course. So, uh, I'll bring you back when I'm a little, when I've got a little bit of something done. So, I've got a little bit of primer on it. Give it a bit of a rub and some wax and grease. And I'll get the old manky tin of paint. Mm, look at the growies on that. Oh. Look at the rust on the sides there. That I'll give it a bit of a stir up already. It's probably starting to separate. Yeah, I'll give it another stir up and mix a bit up. Okay, so we got the twenty dollar spray gun from one of the cheap joints. A little bit of paint, we strained it. Just there's no hardener, there's no reducer, just using a general purpose thinner, so I'm not expecting too much out of it. So uh, I'll get a bit of colour on there, we'll see what happens. Well that's coat number one. Just a quick one, but I think I think we I think we're good. I think we're good. Shiny, speckly, I can't see through the viewfinder. So I'll have a look a little bit later on. But it looks pretty good here. Well, I'll give it another couple of coats after this uh, flashes off for a bit and then uh, put some clear on it, let that dry. Rub and buff. And then we'll have a look, match it up with the, uh, with the bonnet again. Alright, well I've got the first coat of clear on. And remember this is just a test panel essentially so I'm not altogether too con too too concerned with the way it sort of comes out. I just wanted to make sure the paint was going to be pretty close to the the stuff that's on the car. And I'll tell you what I think it's uh, pretty darn close.
Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think we'll get away with that. That's good. So I'm going to put a couple more coats of clear on it as time goes. Have a beer in between or whatever. And uh, let that dry and then uh, cut and buff it, I guess. So that uh, get a real good indication. Should, shouldn't look too bad, I suppose. And uh, back with you shortly. Hey, what are you doing? Beast. Huh? Little creature. Well, don't be surprised if there's. Oh, look at the shit on the ground. Look at this. Cobwebs. <laughs> Everywhere we got cobwebs. Look at this. <laughs> you see them there? Yeah. Yeah, Crap everywhere. So I see a bit of dirt in my paintwork or <laughs> see a bit of crap in my paint or we know what it is, don't we? But, um that's three clip three coats of clear. I think we're on the money. Yeah, it's pretty shiny, it's not bad. So, I'll just let that dry for as long as I can and then I'll give it a rub and a buff. See how we go for colour match. Well, it's pretty well dried and I'm only, because I'm an impatient bugger, it's, um, I'll just give it a little bit of a scuff with some 1200 on the clear. I'm just going to run a, a real quick buff over it on those sections there. And then we'll have a look. Remember, this is only a test panel to see if that paint that's been sitting in that tin for five years or more it's actually, yeah, it's probably more is, uh, is still okay, so <coughs> I'm just going to put some um, I'm just going to buff that off of there shine it up a bit I know I should leave it go for longer but I am impatient, as I said before and my whole game aim is to uh, just see if this paint's any good still so wait up a second I'll get the I'll get the buffer on the way oh. <coughs> you gotta remember I wasn't looking for a faultless finish on this um, because it does have pits and stuff like that and I only just gave it a real light rub with um, some 1200 and then I buffed it and uh, you know, we've got reflection there and we've got faults in there so I'm not concerned about that as you all can remember me saying I just wanted to make sure that the paint was still good that came out of that that tin and it was damn close to what's on the car so, uh, I can't really see from a viewpoint. It looks a little more flaky on the car, so I wonder if that might be something to do with the strainer. Maybe the strainer needs to have a, a little slightly bigger thing or whatever, but, you know, it's certainly better than it was. And that's, that's the panel I've just painted, as you can see. There's my fingers. Uh, and that's the one on the car. So I think it's a little more, it's a little more uh, flake in the in the paint on the car. But you know what? The colour's good, and uh, then I'll go back in there like this, back into its place, and I'll screw that all down. And uh, I think that's pretty groovy. I think that's pretty cool. It looks the same colour now, at least, so that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, so we've got to be happy with that one.
Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think we'll be good with that. Okay. So I've answered my own question with that. Is the paint any good? After it's been sitting in a tin for five five years, the answer is yeah. It's still good. My experience with paint <coughs> very limited, so I'm learning from all the guys that know all about it. So, have yourselves a good one. I'll see you next time. Thanks again, Muggy. Probably one of the biggest gentlemen on uh, in the gang. And I'll finish with one of Mark's sayings. To all my friends, be safe, be well. Peace. <laughs> See ya.